Simple is the best player in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. He is also the best clutcher in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And I am going to show you two clutches that blew my mind. Now, we're going to kick things off with a clutch versus Mouse on Mirage. This is obviously from the current IEM clone. Now, we're just going to play this bad boy out. Now, Na'Vi are about to take the site. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward A split. Someone coming late through Palace. The rest coming up through Connector. Actually, I think they've got somebody in Window that is electronic at the moment. Get a clean entry onto the site. Out they go. If we take a quick look at the map, as we can see, Mouse are on the rotation. Now, we're just going to see what kind of info the Simple gets here. So, right, let's pause there. Obviously, that one kill comes from CT, so Simple knows there is somebody in CT. We play the clutch out. Now, somebody has died uh, out on ramp, so he probably got that info. I didn't see if that was an even duel, but he probably got that info on one guy firebox. Now, he knows that there's one CT. So, slowly here, Simple is getting the information. And we're going to see one man die. There you go. So, Frozen kills bit, so... Simple definitely knows that they've got one firebox, that they've got one CT, as in CT near trash can, near ticket booth. And then there's one who's just come through kitchen or came through kitchen relatively recently. So he knows there's two in a, uh, roughly in the CT area. There's one on the site and he doesn't know where the, uh, the fourth guy is, but it's probably reasonable to assume that it's a B rotator. So we'll play this clutch out. Kills that guy. So there's one down. Now he knows, as you can see, he's aiming CT here. He knows there was a CT player. And he hears the B rotator. Now, that is the first thing that I want to highlight here with Simple, is that he is brave enough to know that he's isolated a jewel there. So he has to go and take it. A lot of other players would have held the angle with the AWP there and tried to bait JDC into coming and taking the jewel. I think the thing Simple understands here is that they've got two on the site. There's a chance they're going to start getting on the defuse. That smoke that he's just come through is fading, so he's not got a lot of protection at his back. He knows that this is his best chance to isolate that jewel on the B rotator and take it. So he does, and he wins it. Now, the bravery here. Here's the defuse and just goes for it. Doesn't care if somebody's holding. And then, bam, gets the final shot. Now, what this is, is this is simple taking the information that he's gained throughout the round and the execute and he is putting together a picture in his head of where everybody is and that is the most important part of csgo full stop as far as i'm concerned the most important skill that you can learn is putting together a picture in your head of what is happening in the round and where people are at any one time Obviously, then Simple had to hit the shots. There's there's no denying that. And there were a couple of mistakes that Mao's made, and I'm going to highlight them for you as we go back through that clutch. Now, this is the first place where you could suggest that Mao's made a mistake. I'm not so sure it necessarily is, however. We see Torsi coming through window here. This is obviously one of the most difficult places positions on the map to come through if somebody is holding it you're pretty much going to lose that jewel every single time unless you try and do some cheesy b hop through the window you know you can kind of do the crouch b hop it's very very hard to hit however unrealistic to hit it in in a match scenario like this i think Mao's choose to send torzi for info here because he is the person jdc is obviously the one player that Simple doesn't know for sure where he is. He hasn't had info on JDC in the round. JDC is pretty far away, however, and rather than waiting for JDC to get close, they send Torzi through for info. I'm not sure if this is Torzi making the decision on his own or Mal's as a team making this decision, but I reckon they decided that Frozen and BMAS, they were kind of locked into their positions. There was a decent chance that the AWP was going to be holding them based on info, whereas Torzi has gone missing for long enough that there's a chance he's rotated all the way to CT uh, all the way to ticket to help BMAS so I think they kind of take a gamble here and say right there's a chance that Simple is watching this position but there's also a decent chance not because Torzi has gone silent for a while Simple makes the right read and gets the kill you can argue that this is a mistake maybe Torzi should have actually gone through CT to BMAS to help or they should have waited for JDC to get closer and then all push together. There was definitely a little bit of a disjointed nature to the way Mao's approached this though. And you can probably chalk that up to some degree to the amount of respect that Simple gets given in clutches like these.
So obviously Symbol gets that kill. Now here is where maybe the other mistake comes. I wonder if uh, Beamass and Frozen could have swung a little bit quicker. They were very tentative and I think a little bit scared about the way they were swinging there. I think if you have a look on the minimap and the way they moved, Beamass kind of creeps out here very slowly. Beamass creeps around here and tries to get this angle. The problem is they do it so slowly that Simple has already gotten into connector by the time they're peaking. I think against a different player, against a different AWPer, they probably swing very quickly off that and get the trade immediately. This is, I think, the first outright mistake. I think Bemis and Frozen played a little bit too slow, a little bit too tentative in this one, and gave Simple the chance to change his position and, as we can see, isolate JDC on the lurk. Now, again, I wonder if against a different player, JDC maybe tries to be a little more assertive and wide swing there. Um, the other thing he could have done is also contain Simple in Connector. I guess the argument is JDC didn't know for certain that Simple had actually moved into Connector. Maybe he could have been playing into stairs tucked in there. Maybe he could have gone into jungle. So maybe he's getting the info there. I don't think, again, this is like an outright mistake. I think it's arguable alongside the Torsi one. However, he did have other options. He could have just wide swung and basically challenged simple to hit the shot but it is probably the better play to do what he did which is he did try and contain simple in connector there however simple hits a good no scope i'm not going to harp on jdc too much there but i i think it's debatable you could suggest that maybe there was a more optimal way he could have played that probably not with the wide swing probably just playing to contain simple keep an eye on window and connector so the simple can't leave and then as his teammates move in he can crunch a little bit more coordinated i think again this was a uh a moment where it was a little bit disjointed from mouse jdc seemed to be playing to contain and his teammates kind of left him out on an island didn't really do much of an attempt to try and help him really now this is the other mistake this molly is not deep enough the molly is is too shallow there um it's thrown on the fly so you can argue the question there and then there frozen is not holding b masses diffuse and I think that is definitely a mistake. BMAS got on the defuse. Frozen was not in a position to hold the face from Simple. I think if Frozen is in a position holding that angle, he probably kills Simple when he tries to peek and kill uh, Frozen. Uh, BMAS, sorry. The problem, obviously, is the molly being up. That does make it harder. Maybe he wouldn't have hit the shot anyway. So to summarize that, I think the main mistake mouse made oh, i think there were two is one it was a little bit disjointed i don't think they had the level-headed clear comms there to say this is the plan this is what we're doing let's go it was a little bit disjointed and two they just gave simple too much respect now this is another clutch from simple and this is from uh later on in the very same tournament obviously cologne that's happening right now and this is another pretty impressive one from the boy now you can question Plopsky's peak there. Um, you know, he sees an AWPer on the angle, but it's not the worst jewel in the world to take. Uh, again, I wouldn't call it an outright mistake. In a 5v2, it's not the end of the world to face that. That face I do question. You know he's scoped in. You know he's just seen you. Not so sure about that face. That one I would suggest is a little bit of a mistake. Now, this one I actually think is less, it's almost the opposite, not giving enough respect to Simple compared to the Mouse Clutch. I think Ninjas get a little bit lazy in this round because it's a 5v2. I think they kind of assume it's done already. But we'll continue playing it out. That was a risky jump, but he had to get the bomb, so, you know, fair enough. Nice quick scope there. Obviously, Perfecto came to play with Simple, so Simple gets the info. Now... This is a 1v2 where I really don't think Campus and Brolan need to do much. The bomb is already down. Brolamin is in a great position to play the bomb. I think if you're Hampus, all you need to do here is tuck. And this is really hard for Simple to win. He has to move to the bomb and get on it. But as we can see, I think Hampus gets a little bit brave here, tries to find the kill. And then, yeah, they're so far away that it's really hard to support each other. And then Hampus is in a, a, a tough position here, I think, because of where the bomb is planted. It's not planted for him. And yeah, bam. So I think this clutch, actually, we saw at the start of it, the kind of opposite problem from the ninjas. I think at the start, they didn't give Simple enough respect. I think Plopsky and Esetag both faced 
when they maybe didn't need to and they knew that simple was maybe on the angle i think the first face is less of an issue you're like ah let's see if we catch him like he saw us maybe he's gonna go into bathrooms or rotate for long or something or start pushing closer so I don't necessarily hate that one, but the second phase was definitely a little bit questionable. There was really no need to give Simple the opportunity to, to hit those shots. And then I think at the end, I think Hampus, and, Hampus particularly, I think gets a little bit antsy trying to go for that kill. Like I say, in that situation where the bomb is planted for Brolan, he's in a great post plant, particularly against an AWP. He's in a position where the AWP is going to have to get up and close to him. All Hampus needs to do is go silent, be there, make Simple have to come and find him. And I think Brolan has every chance to win that 1v1 there. The way that they play it, where Hampus tries to kind of like bait the shots and then Brolan goes for goes for the peak. Not optimal, but full credit to Simple for having the game sense again there. This is one where he didn't, I think, have the info even on where Brolan was. That was 100% just him recognizing the situation, recognizing that Hampus was trying to bait his attention, and then just taking a gamble on where Brolan was playing from, and he hits a great shot. Simple obviously hit every shot here, and it was fantastic shooting from Simple, but whenever a clutch like this goes down, like a 1v4, 1v5, whatever, there has to, there almost has to be mistakes made by the defending team, as well as fantastic play from the guy making the clutch. So there's two things to remember here, right? Be coordinated in your play. Make sure that you understand the plan. Make sure that you're communicating and make sure that you're playing together. Two, don't give a player too much respect. I know that's hard when Simple is on the opposite end of the clutch, but you can't give Simple as much respect as I think Mouse did at points in that clutch and get away with it. Simple is going to punish for you for it. Third, don't overface. I know that almost is in, in contention with the second point I made about not giving too much respect, but overfacing is facing on your own without support, without backup. I think Nip did that twice in this clutch. In fact, arguably three times, I think Hampus is overfacing there. But if you are going to face an AWPA like that, you need to have support nice and close to you. And I think the problem with Hampus's attempt to bait the shot is maybe against a rifler that is a better option. I think in Hampus's case, it was just Brolan was too far away to actively effectively support him. And so that's why I think that Hampus one was an overface. Regardless, Simple is the best player in the world, one of the best clutches in the world, an absolute monster. And so it's unsurprising that he comes out on top in these situations. Let me know if you liked the video. Let me know what you want to see. Comment, like it, all of that guff. And if you didn't like it, you're probably a Nip or a Mouse fan or even a Nip or a Mouse player. And all I have to say to you is unlucky.